20 minutes more to to engage in this class. Did anybody get anything from that video? Anybody get any? If you got something from that video, let me see your hand. Okay, I will need two of you to tell me what you got. I need a microphone. One male, one female. Your hands again. Okay. One male, one female. Give him. Praise God. Um, I got from the video that um, discipline gives you the leverage to get anything you want to do done. Discipline gives you the leverage to get anything you want to do done. Okay? Somebody else. Give Linda. I also picked the same thing. Discipline buys you freedom to do what you're supposed to do. Okay. Discipline gives you leverage. Discipline buys you freedom. Somebody got something different. Okay. Give him. Praise the Lord. I got... Um, wherever your focus is, that is where your energy flows. Is that is where your energy flows? Most energy. Okay. Yes, give her. Very good. Yes. Okay, I got. If you want to achieve anything, you start now. If you want to achieve anything, you start now. Okay. Lesson wiper. We have control over our minds, hmm? by what we think. We have control over our minds and what we think. The lady on white. No, behind her. Yes. Okay, I got that. You don't take decision over something you don't have desire on or goals on. Okay, you don't take decisions over something you don't have desire or goals from. I have two more minutes to do this. Okay? Yes. Uh, hands up. I'm seeing more ladies raise hands than men. So, I got that. We should take ownership of our thoughts. Take ownership of your thoughts. Okay, IJ. Since men okay, are I, I got that. If you want to fail, stay distracted. If you want to fail, stay distracted. Punch. Yes, finally. No matter how little the steps are, take the steps every day towards fulfilling what you want. No matter how little the steps are, take the steps. No matter how little it is, take it every day. Take it every day. I think I need to say something on that. It's not part of my this thing today, but no matter how little it is, keep taking the steps. There's a there's a mindset I've I've seen around this place. It is the mindset of I'll say it in Igbo. Um, of Egombute. Everybody is waiting when he makes, when he gets the big blow. The big blow. I'd like you to just do something when you get home, if you can. Open that your, that your tap. Open that your tap. Small. Let it just be dropping. Boom. 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 And put a bucket under it. And just forget it. Leave it for about three, four hours. If you come back to that bucket, you will be surprised at how much water had gathered in that bucket just by pump, pump, pump. This is an aside. This is an aside. You don't save when you have big money. You save to have big money. You don't save when you have big money. You save to have big money. 
So if you you save by proportion, it doesn't matter how much you earn. Twenty percent is my savings. One day that twenty, maybe today the twenty percent is ten thousand naira. Maybe today the twenty percent is ten thousand naira. <laughs> One day you wake up and realize that twenty percent is one million naira. Let me say it again. You don't save when the money is big. You save to get the money big. Let me get to what I can say. All right. Focus is an important concept. A lot of people would have achieved more if they were focused. There is no true achievement without focus. That's not true. You can't find it on the face of the earth. There's no true achievement without focus. Life of focus is a life of continuous conquering and continuous overcoming. Focusing on the little things that matter changes everything. Focusing on the little things that matter changes everything. Sturgeon Law says that 95% of everything we do is crap. Sturgeon, S-T-U-R-G-E-O-N Sturgeon, Sturgeon's Law He said that 95%, 90, 99%, 90%, 90% of everything we do is crap, 90%. The Pareto Principle says that 80% of results come from 20% of action. Joseph in Egypt, what did he save? 20% for seven years. The 20% is saved for seven years what was sustained Egypt and the whole world in the next seven years of famine. Watch your department. Watch wherever you are, even your family. It's 20% of the people that do 80% of the work. The OES members are always many. So both Sturgeon and Pareto emphasize that focusing on what is important and valuable is everything. It's everything. It's everything. Okay, for example, Einstein focused on physics. Elon Musk focused on technology. Shakespeare focused on writing. I want to ask you, what are you focusing on? What are you focusing on? If talent is distracted, hard work will be better than it. What are you focused on? <laughs> Warren Buffett said that the difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. Let me say it again. The difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. A man of focus has more no's than yeses. Graham Bell, if you know Abraham Graham Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, he said, concentrate all your thoughts on the work at hand. The sun's rays do not burn until they are brought to a focus. Until they are brought to a focus. Thomas Edison said, the only trouble is that they do it about a great many things. He said, I do it about one, just one thing. If they took the time in question and applied it in one direction to one object, they will succeed. Stop scattering your energy. John D. Rockefeller says, do not many of us who fail to achieve big things fail because we lack concentration. <laughs> the art of concentrating the mind on the thing to be done at the proper time and to the exclusion of everything else. Yes, that's how people thought. So, most highly talented people that do significant things have been focused specialists. As I, need, I said I need something to clean. Okay. 
So, the challenge is not time. The challenge is not time. Most times. How many people have ever felt that 24 hours is not enough? Raise your hand. This is a life class now. You've ever felt... In my school days, I was pastoring two fellowships. One in IMT, one in ESUT. Both TRF fellowships. I was head of prayer department in main church. I do counseling with pastor and some other pastors every Tuesday. And I was doing business that was running my school, my education. And I was studying geology and mining. One day I woke up and I was praying. I said, it's still on that my old Bible. is in my house. I said, Lord, I need a 25th hour. The challenge is not time. The challenge is focused time. Not time. God is not foolish. If 24 hours will not be enough, he will not give us 24 hours. The challenge is not time. The challenge is focus time. So your level of concentration or focus has a large impact on your productivity. You know why? Progress. Equals time or speed that's progress progress is time multiplied by speed there's more to getting stuff done than just spending time on a task <laughs> you need to work fast to get stuff done so many things affect how fast we work and the most significant factor that affects our work speed is concentration and focus. It's like giving one hour to two people and asking them to do almost the same thing. The same thing. Just give them the same, maybe in an office, give them the same work on an Excel sheet, Excel spreadsheet to do. Two of them are doing the same thing for one hour. Person stays on the computer, starts daydreaming, starts looking at the window, starts chatting, goes on social media. The other person focuses on the work and they were given one hour. They are given one hour. You realize that the person that focused on the work will finish or even go far, maybe not finish, but will go far doing that work in one hour while the other person that was gallivanting will do less. So the challenge is not work and it's not time. The challenge is focus time. So if I add more focus to my time. It is said that people work 40 hours a week. On the average, 40 hours a week, which is 8 hours per day for 5 days. 5 days. 8 hours a day for 5 days. So 40 hours a week. And you're given a task to do in 40 hours. A lot of people don't use 40. Everybody does not use 40 hours. Everybody does not use 40 hours. Because the work you were given to do in 40 hours was actually calibrated with time. You realize that some people finish the work and you're wondering how they finished. The reason they finished is because their focus time is greater 
than their distracted time. So, your progress now becomes time times concentration. So, let's say you use one quarter of your time to gist. Then you use another quarter of your time. Though you are paid for eight hours a day, you now use another quarter of your time to be on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Find a little video on YouTube and watch. That means you have used one over four by one over four plus one over four equals two over four. That's half. So you have used half of your time to do the work. So that's 0 0.5. So your progress is equal to time, 40 hours times 0 0.5. So what you actually use was 20 hours in a week. And you're wondering why you did half or a little more than half of the work. So the challenge is not time. When you get home today, go to your social media. For the people that are social media compliant, go to your social media. There's a place on your settings that shows you how much time you spend a week on social media. It will surprise you. Hey, I checked it one day. I knelt down and said, Lord, have mercy on me. I have wasted my life. Check it. You will see the result yourself. It's not. I never knew until I was just researching on something and I came and said, no, this is not true. And I went to my own, checked it. Time you spend on WhatsApp, chatting, and waiting for the person to respond. You're chatting and waiting, chatting and waiting. You know, Jesus, two hours. How? Now, time is very fast. No. More concentration will give you more result. Write it somewhere. More concentration will give you more result. So focus time is a useful resource. But you have to be focused. <laughs> you have to be focused. What does it mean to be focused? How focused a man is, someone is, is inversely proportional to how many activities they do. So the more activities, the less focused. Inversely proportional. Sorry I'm sounding scientific, but I'm a scientist. Uh, there's no other way I can convey it. Uh, it's practical. Science is practical. It's inversely proportional. So your focus is inversely, inversely proportional to your activities. activities. So the more activities increase, the more your focus decreases. Mm. The more your activities decrease, the more your focus. So the more activities, Buchi, give me my first image. Media, please. Less activity. Activity one, activity two, activity three. Give me my second image. 
So you have less activities. It is easier to focus. This is supposed to be my activity three. My, my image three. Give me the next the next image. I want to use it to explain something. Next image. Not this one. Next image. Yes. Can you compare this image with the first image? The other person had three activities to do in 24 hours. <laughs> have you have you have you watched some people and you're wondering how is this person coordinating his life like this? <laughs> This is 360 degrees. So this is a full circle. Let's call it 24 hours. Let's call this 24 hours. So every two hours. So it has 10 activities. Every two hours, 40 minutes. It has one activity. Every two hours, 40 minutes. It has one activity. Every two hours, 40 minutes. This person will not achieve. How many things do you do in a day that are not necessary? That's where your time is going. No? Time is not faster. How many things do you do in a day that is taking your time? You have things to do, but The man that will not achieve so much with his life is a man that pushes today's things to tomorrow. The man that will not achieve so much is a man that pushes today's thing to tomorrow. Let me run. Oh, my time is awesome. Benefits of focus. You cannot do everything. You cannot do everything. Focus accelerates your progress. In physics, it is said that a sharper knife is more effective than a blunt knife because the sharper knife on its own applies pressure that you don't even need to apply the pressure from the outside. So internal pressure from the knife gets the work done. So you don't need to exert external pressure so much. But if you're using a blunt knife, external pressure will be bigger. Yes. I think it was Abraham Lincoln that, that said that, that if he was given 10 years to cut a tree, he will use 8 years to sharpen the knife. I'm not, I don't think an African would think like that. Because we believe in energy. We even use it for God. So that's why your testimony is after my 40 days fast, the Lord came through. If you put more focus in the things you do, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Let me push. Let me just do so much on this. You know, I looked at football, and it still amazes me how two people 
are in the same team and one is paid more than the other. In fact, one is paid more than seven people in that team put together. The difference is how much focus that person had put in the world. What time the person uses to sharpen. Who was I discussing yesterday with? I think it was you. I was discussing, we were talking about Eden Harden. Hazard. Yes. I said that, that his, his, um, his coach at Madrid refused to play him. So the guy started getting fat. I said to him, I said, he didn't know that when he was we were talking about that, I was thinking about this morning. He could only get that fat because he was not focused on what he was doing. He thought he was doing it for the club. Because he is paid so much money. How much are those machines that are used to train? Most of these guys live in, in ranches. That's where they live. They live in, in Messi's house in, in Barcelona. Has his own football pitch. He built it. It's not club that built it. He built it. Hazard has enough money to do anything to get himself feet but because there's no focus so he sat down on the bench and they were paying him and he was chopping money and he and nobody can use him he's 34 right he's 32 and he has retired at 36 Messi is still doing wonders. At 37, Ronaldo is still doing wonders. At 32, I want to ask somebody this morning. It's a very weird question. How much is your focus worth? much is your focus worth? Your focus. <laughs> what will it cost you to be focused? How much is it worth? If you're called into ministry, this is one of your greatest assets. Outside the Holy Ghost, this is one of your greatest assets. Focus. I listen to Bishop Noel Jones a lot. And Bishop Noel Jones and Pastor Paul. And there's something I realize. Let me leave T.D. Jakes alone. There's something I realize about these two people. Their focus level. Their focus level. Bishop Noel Jones said that he stays on his book at least on a Saturday. At least for 14 hours on a Saturday. 14 hours in his study on a Saturday. That's laser beam focus. He does and the average of 8 hours every day in his study. I told myself, if you're going to make sense all your life, this is the pattern outside the Holy Ghost this is the pattern to follow when the Holy Ghost is done moving can you say what people will apply in their lives and after 20 years they still remember you for communicating common sense Let 
Mr. Wendy now. How to become more focused. The first thing is to eliminate. <laughs> Reducing a number of commitments you have to increase your focus time and effort. I have to sit down and take a census of your activities and the people in your life. Be bold enough to walk away from time wasters. Eliminate. Sort your current commitments and know the one that's priority. Sitting down in this place, right now I don't even have a very close friend anymore because my closest friend died in July. I only had one. If you're going to go far, you need to capture your focus. Don't scatter your energy. If you can find 80%, 70% of what will move your life forward in one man, he might not have money. But whenever you talk with him, whenever you fellowship with him, your energy level, your vision, your drive, pay attention to that person. There are three things that are supposed to drive a focus man. Number one is your God. Number two is your family. Number three is our relationships that fertilize your vision. Every other thing around it have to see if, if you really want them. Number one is your God. The people of the, of the New Age movement who say anything you worship Uh, anything you watch. Number two is your family. Don't joke with family. Don't joke with family. Number three is anything that fertilizes your vision. Don't ever joke with that. So to eliminate, when you look at these three things, you already know what to eliminate. <laughs> You already know what to eliminate. These are the three things that can keep me awake all night. My God, my family, and my commitment to my vision. These are the three things that will make me spend and not look, not look back spending. My God, my family, and my commitment to vision. These are the platforms that determine who is my friend and who is not. My God, you can't be close to me and you're worshipping something else. My family. Then that's what drives my vision. When you put these three things in one basket, if the basket is not full, then you can now look at the things that can fit in. You know, you know, somebody will now be asking me, so how about how about um um where you where you where you what's it called again? 
extracurricular activities. What's the place of extracurricular activities? If you watch that, those things that drive your vision and you look at them very well, you realize that there is a place to play in those things too. Number two, my time, please. Okay, I have nine minutes. Actually, four minutes. Number two, concentration. How do I become more focused? Concentration. Reducing the number of activities that you do. The reason you might, you, you might not have been very effective in your department in church might be that you're in more departments than you're supposed to be. Reduce your activities. Don't be available all the time. Don't be that person that when your friends want to go out, I say, now, where make her? Ogaga. Just call Uju. She has time. How do you know she has? She, just call her. Trust me. And true to their words, Uju, good afternoon. How are you? Um, it, it's a little busy. Um, it's okay. Um, don't worry. I will go with you. Reduce your activity. Reduce it. Don't travel without reason. You don't know the person that is waiting. Just that your is your friend's friend. And they want fair people in the Ashwebi. Say, so don't worry, we will pay for the Ashwebi for you. Just show. You don't know the person. You carry your bag Thursday evening to come back on Sunday morning. Mm -mm. That's too much of destiny time to waste. How do I improve my concentration? I'll do that in two minutes. Write down the things you need to do. Write it down. There is something about when you pen down the things you need to do. Write it down and always keep it in front of you. Always keep it where you can see it. These are the things I'm achieving today. These are the things I have to be, that has to be done by Friday or by Saturday. Have it written. Pin it where you can see it. It will help your concentration. You, you know, we're given a task in the office. Break those tasks into sub, sub, sub goals. The task is supposed to be delivered in 30 days. In five days, I should have done this. In five days, I should have done this. In five days, I should have done this. In fact, make it, portion it so much so that you're going to deliver in half the time. So that even if you overshoot, you overshoot to the time of delivery. I tell people, particularly people that so, tell us, they are having this problem all the time. Tell us. It will take you two weeks. You know it's two weeks that it will take you to deliver this clothes. Don't tell the person two weeks. Tell the person three weeks. Because there might be contingencies and miscellaneous. So, it will take you two weeks. Tell the person, it's three weeks. The person says, okay, three weeks. He says, yes. Then it takes you two weeks to deliver. That two weeks, you just go there and deliver it to him. Two weeks. Says, wow! I thought you said three weeks. He says, yeah, it's, just, it's just the way it is. That's how we behave sometimes. 
than telling him two weeks. Any other thing you are saying, you are saying it on your own. Number two, I call it work play quotient. Work play quotient. Every 30 minutes, work for 25 minutes and use 5 minutes to play, to stretch. For every 30 minutes, do your work for 25 minutes. Then use 5 minutes to stretch. To just walk around. It will help you. Con that, that we, that you have bulk time. You know that this is bulk time to work. You know that this is bulk time. People call me sometimes. I leave my phone on. My phone is, my phone, if you call me, it will not ring. My phone has been on silent now for four years. On silent mode now for four years. If I'm with you, my phone does not ring out. It can, it does, it's not on vibration. So it does not distract me when I'm concentrating. And just say, I'm not saying that you should do what I'm doing. Yes. Because I have a way to know when my phone is ringing. And it has to be important calls. Now, it will not ring and show light. That's the challenge. It's the way I set it. So I'll be looking at the phone. I just say, oh, wow. Okay, you called. Okay, I'll call the person back. And I try to return the call. Sometimes the person is angry that he called me five hours ago. And I'm returning the call now. <laughs> Please. I have a destiny that I'm focused on. I want you to understand what I'm saying. Whatever you do, make sure that your distractions are on the decrease. No matter what it is. Keep decreasing your distractions until one day you wake up and you're looking for distractions to employ. I will see you in the next class.